All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Elk Mountain. We are in Wyoming. And we are on our new ranch. And we got quite a few things we want to do today. Don't know if we'll be able to get to them all. But we need to go buy some brown Swiss cows for our other dairy barn. And we got a couple fields we want to plow. And if we have time and money, which I don't think we will today, we will uh, need to get some horses. Okay, so we want to get some horses because we're going to be offering uh, riding lessons for an, as an income here eventually. But our main focus right now is dairy. We're going to try to produce as much milk as we can. It's going to be a while though because our, our cows are all calves. But let's go hop in the truck here and then uh, go uh, get some baby calves. And we got a pretty steep hill here. I'd like to to grade this down a little bit. I don't know when we'll be able to do that though. Alright, so let's park this here out of the way. Go. Okay. And I'm thinking about selling the Mack truck. We bought, we got three trucks, so I don't, I don't know. We got two nice Peterbilts and a Mack. I don't know. If we uh, come into the need of money, then we'll probably sell it. Pull this around here like so. And off to the animal dealer we go. And then over here on the right, we're going to put a, uh, a grass field in here. So where we'll do some hay bailing and stuff. And it'll be a small field there. We'll probably make a bigger one later but that one will get us started. All right, I'll see you guys at the dealership. Okay, here we are at the dealership, and we want to buy 56 female brown Swiss calves. All right, so there we go, 11200 bucks. Purchase. Okay. We go. Got a bunch of baby calves. All right, so that'll be a nice addition to the farm. It's gonna be a while before we start getting milk, but once they do start producing, we're gonna be uh, doing pretty good. But right now, I'm just feeding hay, and hay's not bringing their health up. So I think I'm going to have to get some silage. And we'll probably have to lease a trailer and buy some silage somewhere. Because we don't have any way of making silage yet. There we go. Alright, this old truck. It's still, still working though. Making money. Chug it along. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to get a silage pit, or a, yeah, a silage pit, where we can put grass in there and then cover it up on the ramp somewhere. A lot of things we still got to do. It's only our second month on the ranch, so we may be uh, jumping the gun on this much cattle, but. find out. Alright, so once we get these cows back to the farm, we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and start on that, creating that field for the, for the hay. And I don't know if we're going to get horses today. We'll have to get horses uh, later on, I think. Alright, here's our 
is our turn coming up. There we go. Still got to get that dip filled in at the front of our driveway, too. Okay, almost there. that dip right here Ooh, there it is got to fill that in okay so we'll go ahead and get this uh, offloaded big fan of the steep hill we got right here in the front, but kind of not a whole lot we can do about that, I don't think. Let's get this backed on up. Ooh, hard on the brakes there. This is where we're going to keep this for for now. All right, let's offload them. Welcome to your new home, baby calves. There we go. Okay. There they are. Okay, so now we need to put some hay in here. That way they have some food. So we'll jump in the new Holland. And go get him some bells here. Alright, and I'm still uh, getting used to the joystick here for this uh, front loader, so don't laugh at me. You can laugh, I don't care. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got. Well, we missed the top spike, but we got the bottom two in. That'll work. Okay. Alright, come and get it, cows. Your first meal on the new ranch. There we go. Let's go grab a couple more. And this is uh, going to reach the top two. It was a little sketchy last time I did it, but we did it. I do need to get a weight for the back of this thing, though. This is our pretty heavy bells. Alright, let's see here. I can't even see the, the top. So we're going to hop out here like this and do it like that. Alright, let's make sure we're good. I think that's good right there. Look at that. Okay. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Maybe I'll flatten that area out a little bit, though. Okay. Drop these down. There we go. And how much does that give the cows here? So that gives them 23,000, and the Holsteins have 37. And we 
with 56 cal calves. They're not going to eat too much at this age, but let's say you get become heifers, they're going to start pigging out. So I think that'll be good for now. All right, so we'll just park this right here. All right, let's go jump in the case and start plowing our field. A little bit of a smoothing uh, detail we need to do over here too. All right, but we got the uh, the case 380 Magnum, and I've never used this plow before. It's the case 2500. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be a nice nice plow. Okay. Alright, so what I was thinking for plowing this grass field, I think I'm going to uh, outline it first, and then we'll start plowing it. Okay, so we're going to stop this right here. Let's go into construction mode. Uh, we're going to lay this out a little bit and figure this out. So we want to do... Just thinking about a field right in here where we can plant some good seed. So it's not going to be too big. So we will eventually need it a lot bigger, but... That's when we'll just make a second field. There we go. I'm going to bring this over here. Because we want the front, we still want it to look nice. This is the, the front of the ranch. Okay, that would be a good size field for, for a starter grass field. I think that will work. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and old fold that. Okay, we're going to go to create fields. Yep. Alright. Yeah, it's a decent size, I guess. And this will just be the overflow uh, field eventually, once we get the bigger field going. Alright, so go ahead and lower that down. And this shouldn't take too long, since it's not so big. I think this is the biggest tractor we've ever owned. This thing is huge. This thing is powerful. And maybe we'll put another grass field over there to the left of the uh, horse entrance gate there. I don't know. We'll see. We still need to go buy some silage today. So we need to make this field quickly. Okay, there we go. Drop that down. And we'll touch up the edges once we're done here. Okay. Let me get a little close to the road here. Alright, I'll keep at this and uh, get back with you guys in a little bit. Alright, here we are. We're on the last pass. And this field is created. So my plan is also behind the, the barns there, the cow the cow barns. Um, I'm gonna plant a couple really big grain fields. So we can do soybeans and corn. But that'll be 
later down the road, but that is part of our long-term plan. Okay, so now we are going to lease a cedar so we can plant some grass. Alright, so let's just park this right here for now. Actually, let's park it over here, out of the way. Yeah, we'll park it over here. And then we'll put this away later, because we're going to use this tractor here for the cedar. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, nothing for sale. I guess we're just going to lease it. And I believe it's this one. Yep, so we'll go with this one. We could buy it, but I'm just going to lease it for now. And then we also need some seed. And we also need some fertilizer. Oops. I'm going to buy that. There we go. Okay, I'm going to change that to grass, there we go. And let's get the fertilizer in there. And there we go. Alright, so I'm going to put a worker in here for now, because we're going to go get some silage. go. I'm getting that edge all the way over. Might have to hit that, that edge on the end here. That's all right. Okay, so um, send that back to the shop. We are going to lease a trailer because we don't want to buy one yet because I want to make sure it's the right one. And we want one that doesn't tip. We want one that just kind of empties out the bottom or the back without tipping. Because inside the... Uh, the barns aren't that high. I think this might... I think this pushes... Nope, that one tips. This is the one. Okay. This one pushes out the back. So the back opens and then it pushes it out. That's what we want. As long as this will fit through the doors. I think it will. But that's why we're going to lease it. Well, we don't have enough to buy it anyways. But if it does fit, we'll eventually buy it. Okay, and hopefully our truck will pull it. I know it'll pull it when it's uh, empty, but hopefully when it's full it'll pull it. Alright, let's go see. Whoa, we're gonna hit the bushes. Okay. Um, actually, we, we didn't get it delivered. We have it at the store. Let's go pick it up. And the only place I'm aware of is behind the dealership to pick up silage. Okay. So we got $34,000. That should be plenty because I don't believe silage is too expensive. Eventually, we'll be able to produce our own silage. We'll have to get a silage pit. That way we can uh, save money there, too. Okay. So we'll go pick up our trailer. Alright, here we are. a pretty big trailer, so that's going to hold quite a bit. Ooh, I'm crazy on my backing. Alright, there we go. Okay, here we go. And the, where we're going to buy the silage is right across the street. Alright, 
right, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can uh, pull this. It's definitely weighing this truck down. I think we're okay. Yeah, the steering's a little loose, but we'll just take it slow. Oh yeah, the steering's really loose. All right, we might have to take the uh, Peterbilt next time. All right, come on, you can make it home. We're gonna limp home. there not too far a little loose definitely loose make sure I don't go too fast for a jackknife okay oh jackknifing careful all right once we get to the yard we'll uh we'll use the tractor to, to pull this okay looks like he's about done but I see a spot he missed we're going to hit the gate. Alright, we're going to leave this here at the bottom of the hill. Alright, we're going to drop it right here. Yeah, that wasn't the, the best idea. Alright, so we'll go park this back in the uh, garage here. There we go. Okay, and we'll go hop in the case. Okay. We'll touch up the corner here. There we go. We can do the side over here. I don't think it got the entire edge. If it did, it did, but it won't hurt to go over it. I think we're good, I think. Yep, that's working. And then a little spot there he forgot to get. Don't know how he forgot that. It'll be nice in FS25 if the uh, AI workers are smarter. Like they say they will be, so hopefully we won't have this kind of stuff happening. Okay, there we go. This field's complete. Okay, so we'll just put this down here for the moment, and we gotta go get that that trailer. Right, we're just gonna park this here. It's not gonna stay here, but for now. that. Yeah, let's go feed them cows some silage. Let's get their health up. So this should pull it with no problem. Okay, so our cows. So we've already had them for one month. Health is still at zero because we're just feeding them hay. So if we feed them silage, so that'd be a 80%. Should should definitely help take them up. Okay, so oh yeah, this pulls it in with no problem. I'm just hoping this fits in the door. Actually, we have this robotic feeder over here that I've never used. Can we put silage over here? I think we put silage right there. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to dump a lot in here. I'm just going to dump a little and see what happens. Okay. 
Alright, we'll leave it like that. I don't know if there's something I need to do to get the robot to feed. Will it just feed silage or do I have to put all, all of this in here? The hay, the straw, that don't open. I don't know. Hopefully it'll uh, feed on its own. All right, well, let's go feed the Swissers real quick. Swissers. The brown Swiss. As long as this fits in the door. I think it will. I think we're gonna get it. Just barely, but it fits. I like it. All right, sweet. This trailer is gonna work just fine. All right, so we're gonna give them. Oops. A little more than I wanted to. That's all right. We'll give the rest of the Holsteins, and we'll feed them this way. Only because I don't know if they'll get it from the the robot feed here or not. I do want to see that work, though. Okay, let's go ahead and pull in here. There we go. Okay, so that should help their health. So they have a little bit. They have a lot. We can always go buy more. Um, yeah. Alright, I think that'll work. So, it's a good start. We'll just park this trailer right over here for now. Out of the way. work right there. Alright guys. That's about it for today. Uh, next time we'll next time you see me we'll be buying horses hopefully and plowing another field out there. Alright. Well thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye.